What's up? This is the Von Casket, home to the lamest taste. You can check me on Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. All one word, the vinyl casket, where you can subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for much, much more. We're doing another casket review. Check out the trailer for more. This is the 2010 movie. Yes, I'm on a Jake Gyllenhaal run. This is Love and Other Drugs. Uh, this premiered November 24th, 2010, starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway. Incredible duo here. Insane duo, actually. Um, amazing whole whole cast here, like like underrated fire. Like I had no idea that all these people were in a movie together, and they did an incredible job. I've never seen this movie. I just recently sat down and watched it, and super excited. Um, this is on. Oh, oh that's not what I wanted. It is currently on Hulu as well as I believe Disney Plus through Hulu. Um, so check it out. I highly recommend that. Everybody watches this movie because this movie was an absolute banger. Like, underrated. When I tell you my ranking of this video, my rating, you're going to be mind blown. This movie from start to finish was good. Um, well paced, great uh, music score, amazing shot selection, great acting, great story, great pacing. Everything about this movie, there wasn't a single bad thing. Uh, obviously, it's rated R, I believe, so it's a little graphic, and I was not expecting that, but I feel like it's all played off. It's not too overboard. It's very serious, very romantic, but at the same time, you have a lot of humor that's laced in at the right moments to counterbalance some of the super emotional and super heavy super dark themes um so basically Anne Hathaway's character it has uh Parkinson's and she's dealing so you get to see that analyzed very deeply with like you know the reliance on drugs the health struggles the emotional mental toll it has on her um the fact she avoids relationships and this and that and then you see Jake Gyllenhaal's character who just is like, you know, kind of selfish, kind of dumb, you know, rich kid who just kind of fucks whoever he wants, does whatever he wants, uh, is trying to, you know, I guess he loses the job he has and he gets put in this position where he's trying to sell, uh, he's working for a freaking, oh, what are they called, Pfizer, and he's like helping being like, a, you know, giving samples out and selling drugs. And you see the creation of like Viagra and this really interesting, like there's like really cool stuff that might be accurate because I didn't really research it. So like really cool, like this could be real, like he's doing his thing, that that's realistic, her struggles, mental health, whatever. And then like this whole relationship is built and like the struggles that someone with Parkinson's might have and the different stages are explained and like him doing his his thing and pitching and you see like this this battle of like the health market and the drug market and it's very interesting like Pfizer's rise in popularity uh over other companies you see all these different elements so like crammed in but so neatly spaced and presented in a way where i never thought i was over i was never overstimulated i was never turned off by a thing i loved it from beginning to end i thought it was great i thought it was good and i thought it was amazing uh, i give this a five out of five <laughs> I love the ending. I love the middle. I love the beginning. This movie was so well done. So incredibly well done. I don't think I've seen a movie this good in a long time. Um, Josh Gad is in it. You got um, Judy Greer, Oliver Platt, uh, George Siegel. Just... A lot of really good people were in this. I think everybody did a great job. I think Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway are incredible. They both did an amazing job. They pulled that off. They were they were emotional. They were believable. They were funny. They were realistic and relatable. And just everything about this movie was so good good 
I yeah, me me and my wife watched it and we turned to each other. We were both like, because we we now have gotten onto the track that they, um, we that's a weird question. Uh, as I'm reviewing <laughs> Love and Other Drugs uh, on this live stream, um, but um, we've been watching stuff together and now doing our ratings together because now we're keeping track of our all our ratings. I. We both looked at each other and we we're like, "All right, that's a five. That there's no even debating it. That was a five out of five, easy." Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this movie to everybody. I think it's an underrated sleeper. I don't think enough people talk about it. Um, we had both never seen it, so highly suggest Love and Other Drugs. It's on Disney and Hulu right now. Rated R, amazing. Jake Gyllenhaal and Hathaway. I want them to do another movie together because I think they just had great chemistry. They just were great, like working together um yeah check it out guys get in the comments let's discuss this did you like it did you not five out of five for me this is the von casket home to blame taste you can check me out on instagram twitch and youtube we can you could subscribe like and comment hit the bell for much more do me a massive favor and stay lame